First up, vertex. <laughs> Slid right into the bottom of the pole. Second vertex. Couple theories, lightly seasoned. So these have just a touch more stability than the Vertex. A uh, little bit higher PLH, which is the parting line height. You can see that right on the side if you put them right up against each other on the side on a flat table. So they both have their purposes if you want to try either one of them. They're both excellent discs. <laughs> Ding! Dong! Vertex. Space Race Vertex. And one more Vertex. All 176 grams. I'm going to put this one out left of the basket uh, and see if I can get it to turn right in. Yeah, I'd say pretty controllable. Got a blue brigade of vertexes here, all 176. All really flat. Regular neutron. I mean, that one, <laughs> you put a, the right amount of wing angle on it and the right amount of power, it goes so straight. There's really no fade at the end. Um, you get the nose up just a little bit. Obviously, with any disc, it's going to catch some drag and fade out. But if you throw it appropriately, it just goes so, so straight. Vertex, wing angle down. I've been throwing these pretty much like that, and they'll flip up. And if I have enough power on them, they'll actually carry a little bit like that and hold. Or I can back off on them, they'll flip up and go just laser beam straight. That's typically how uh, the flight will look for my vertex when I throw it how I want. Couple soft particles. And they're just the same as any soft neutron. It's 38 degrees out right now and they still have good flex to them. Pretty good for colder and winter disc golf I would say. Here's a couple soft envies for comparison. 
both a little bit seasoned, not much. I'll throw this one a little flatter. Okay, I'm gonna throw the particle. I'm gonna try to throw it with a little bit of uh, Anheuser and see how well it holds. <laughs> see, it holds pretty good. Like back at the end, and I'll try that again. Dancing with the moonlight, so we're far away.